there will come a point where no job is needed. The AI will be able to do everything. ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude are amazing and fascinating AI, but they're not yet worthy of being called strong AI. Yes, you heard that right. There are some incredible things that a truly strong AI could do that these systems can't even dream of. In this video, we'll explore what it takes for an AI to be considered strong and list 10 examples of capabilities that only a strong AI would possess. Are you ready for this one? Then let's dive in. Now we will start from the most basic thing. What is a strong AI? To be considered a strong AI, a system must be able to communicate and reason like a human. This includes understanding and expressing natural language, making logical deductions, and generating creative ideas. Additionally, a strong AI must be able to learn new skills and develop its own goals, independent of human direction. While we've seen strong AI in science fiction, recent advancements in AI suggest that this type of AI is possible and even desirable. Questions around whether a strong AI can feel emotions or if emotions are even necessary for strong AI are increasingly important, especially as AI becomes more prevalent in our everyday lives. Now let's explore the 10 things that make an AI a truly strong AI, starting with number one, generalization. Generalization is one of the key differences between strong AI and narrow AI. While narrow AI systems are designed to perform a specific task and are limited in their knowledge and reasoning abilities, strong AI can take knowledge from various experiences and apply it to other areas. This is one of the ways that strong AI can exhibit human-like intelligence. Let's say a strong AI system is created to do translation. During its training process, it's fed millions of examples of human-translated text. Once it's trained, it can take the knowledge and patterns it's learned and apply it to new text it encounters. This allows it to learn new concepts, adapt to new situations, and perform well on text it hasn't seen before. Generalization is a powerful capability that allows strong AI to be flexible and adaptable. Number two, planning and reasoning. To be considered strong AI, a system needs to have two key capabilities, planning and reasoning. Planning is the ability to set goals and develop strategies to achieve those goals. It requires the ability to weigh different options and choose the best course of action. Reasoning is the ability to think logically and make decisions based on facts and evidence. It's the ability to use information to come to conclusions and solve problems. Now, look at self-driving cars. While a self-driving car could use narrow AI to navigate roads and avoid obstacles, it wouldn't be able to plan out its route or make decisions about future stops along the way. With strong AI, it could use information from past trips to suggest the most efficient route and the best stops along the way. This capability gives the system a sense of agency and the ability to make decisions on its own without specific human direction. Number three, alter and adapt. The ability to adapt and respond to changing circumstances is called adaptivity. Narrow AI systems are unable to adapt since they're designed to perform a specific task within a tightly defined environment. Strong AI, on the other hand, is designed to be flexible and responsive, so it can deal with any situation that arises. An example of this could be a robotic home assistant. If something in the home environment changes, such as a new appliance or a rearranged room, the system could adapt its response and continue to perform its tasks. Number four, abstraction. Another important feature of a strong AI is what's called abstraction. This is the ability to identify the key concepts and patterns in a complex set of data and to extract the most relevant and useful information. For example, a strong AI could analyze a medical database and abstract the most important information about a particular disease, such as its symptoms, treatment options, and prognosis. At the forefront of this endeavor is a concept called semantic compression. This is the process of distilling complex and unstructured data into a more compact and easily understood form. For example, a strong AI could analyze a large collection of text documents and identify the key concepts and relationships within them. It could then express those concepts in a simple and easy to understand way, which would be a major advantage over a human researcher who would have to read and understand each document individually. This would allow the AI to provide valuable insights and recommendations based on a vast amount of data. Number five, solve puzzles independently. The types of puzzles that AI has solved so far are typically very structured with clear rules and goals. 
A machine can excel at a game like chess because it's built around a set of rules and objectives, and a machine can analyze millions of possible moves to choose the best strategy. But what about puzzles that don't have defined rules or goals? What about something like the Riddle of the Sphinx, for example? Humans can use their intuition and creativity to come up with the answer to the riddle. A true test of strong AI would be a system's ability to solve a problem like this, where it's not simply following a set of instructions or analyzing vast amounts of data. It would require creativity and reasoning beyond simply following algorithms. Another example of this type of problem would be something like the traveling salesman problem, where a machine would need to find the shortest possible route between a set of cities. Solving these types of problems would be a major step towards achieving general AI. Number six, solve more than mathematical equations. Many of the tasks that AI has accomplished so far have been based on complex mathematical models, but these are just a small subset of the kinds of problems that humans can solve. Many real-world problems require more than just math, like understanding natural language, interpreting emotions, and making decisions based on ethical principles. A strong AI system wouldn't just be limited to solving problems that can be expressed in mathematical terms. It would need to be able to reason about problems that are more complex and abstract, like fairness, justice, and emotions. This is a major challenge for AI because it's hard to define these concepts in a way that a computer can understand. But it's a challenge that must be overcome to achieve true human-level intelligence. Number seven, figure out emotions and needs. Theory of Mind AI would go beyond simply recognizing and mimicking emotions and mental states. It would understand them. This would require a deep understanding of human psychology and would allow the AI to interact with humans on a much deeper level. It's like the difference between talking to a person who is just using a script and talking to a person who truly understands and empathizes with you. The latter is what we mean by Theory of Mind AI. A key part of the theory of mind AI is the ability to reason about other entities' beliefs and intentions. This is often called intentionality. The AI would have to understand that other entities have different beliefs, knowledge, and experiences, and that their actions are based on those beliefs and experiences. This would allow the AI to anticipate and predict the actions of other entities, even when those actions are irrational. Number eight, make accurate predictions. Essentially, a strong AI would be able to take in large amounts of data and make predictions based on that data. This would involve analyzing patterns and relationships in the data and identifying how those patterns might play out in the future. For example, a strong AI could use data about weather patterns to predict future weather events or use data about market trends to predict future stock prices. But it's important to note that a strong AI wouldn't be able to make 100% accurate predictions since the future is inherently uncertain. However, it would be able to assign probabilities to different possible outcomes and make decisions based on those probabilities. This is one of the ways that a strong AI would be able to deal with uncertainty and incomplete information, something that humans do every day. Number nine, consciousness. A strong AI has to be conscious, but all the same, for a machine to be truly conscious, it would need to have certain characteristics that are often considered to be the hallmarks of consciousness in humans. These include self-awareness, intentionality, agency, and emotion. A conscious AI would have to be able to experience and process sensory information and to have the ability to recognize itself as a distinct entity. It would also need to be able to direct its actions and to feel emotions like pleasure, pain, anger, and sadness. One of the most debated aspects of consciousness is the role of qualia, or the subjective personal experience of sensation and emotion. For example, if an AI system was programmed to feel pain, would it experience pain in the same way that a human does? This is difficult to answer since we don't fully understand the neuroscience of human consciousness. But it's an important question to consider when discussing whether or not a machine can truly be conscious. Number 10, autonomy. This kind of wraps up everything. For an AI to be called a strong AI, it has to be autonomous. Autonomy here refers to the ability of the AI to act independently without the need for constant human intervention or direction. Strong AI systems can make decisions and perform tasks without needing to ask humans for permission or instructions. They can also learn and improve over time without humans having to reprogram or update them. A self-driving car is a good example of a system that has autonomy. 
The car doesn't need a human driver to tell it what to do. It can make decisions on its own based on the data it receives from its sensors and the algorithms it's been programmed with. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.